On March 18, 2024, President Againde Ijilema launched the harvest of the early maize program. Under this project, government contracted 55 commercial farmers to grow 2.9 million by 50 kg bags of maize for supply to the Food Reserve Agency as an intervention against poor maize yields induced by drought. And nestled in the bush of Mukoshi district is Atlas Farms, which is among the commercial farms contracted by government for the early maize program. Here, the farm management is doing its part to contribute to national food security. We did grow about uh, 957 hectares of maize to help alleviate the shortage of maize in the country. And currently, so far so good, we've been doing well with uh, an, an average yield of about 10 tons per hectare. Atlas Farms also wants small scale indigenous farmers to be active in government led initiatives such as early maize cultivation. I, I urge uh, equally uh, small scale farmers to get involved in tool like there is already a program for winter maize. The government has facilitated loans that you can get equipment for your irrigation. There have been solar pumps which have been uh, being facilitated for loans. And the FRA is happy with the developments taking place on the contracted farms for the supply of early maize. We are actually targeting to uh, receive a total of uh, 2.9 million by 50 kilogram bags of maize. And what has been delivered is so far over 820,000 by 50 kilogram bags of maize. The balance of that now is expected to be delivered before or at the last uh, day of this month, which is uh, uh, 30, 30th of uh, June 2024. Government is now engaging more farmers across the country to grow winter maize to help mitigate the impact of the maize deficit as well as for storage in the National Strategic Food Reserves. Michael Kaumba, ZNBC News, Mukushi District, Central Province.